All right, all right. And gently, gently, Sunflower, we want to watch out for the new clouds. They're full of very cold snow. I don't think you would enjoy flying through them. Oh, and hey, Catherine! <laughs> Still busy eating some delicious cake, are we? Oh, I love it. I love it. We'll have to open a little... Oh, and she just threw another snowball at me, Catherine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Sunflower, thank you so much for flying me back home and for all of the feathers. You can hold on to those for a little bit longer, my dear, because I have literally hundreds of them. <clears throat> but all right, Lily, Tate, I'm back. And I have good news and I have bad news, puppies. And hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. I am Zookeeper Siri, and we are here working on our Advin Treasure Adventures, which are quickly spiraling out of hand, as so many of our zoo crafting adventures do. But I'm having a fantastic time, and in the end, isn't that all that really matters? So welcome back, my friends. And today, we are going to be working once more on the Arctic Fox exhibit, slowly but surely building it in our little survival world. Uh, for just a second, I thought the fox escaped, but it was just Sunflower's tail feathers again. Uh, but, Lily, Tate, I have good news and bad news. We used up all of our fur leaves and all of the beautiful fur, like, like wood, we ended up getting mint to decorate the fox exhibit. Uh, on starting to decorate with fur because it's absolutely beautiful. Then I thought, you know what, that's okay. I'll just run back home and I'll definitely be able to get some more out of our big giant plant shed, right? Well, the good news, Lily and Tate, is that I was able to find one fur sapling uh, and I was able to go ahead and get some spruce saplings and pine saplings, but I don't have any more than this one fur sapling. And I forgot to bring like any of, oh, I can't believe I did it. I totally forgot to bring the bone meal again, you guys. Oh, uh, okay. Lily, Tate, you guys don't happen to have a bunch of bone meal on you, do you? All right, let's see. Tate, uh, he's got some hives. A lot of roses! Where did you get those from, Tate? My goodness! And a spruce sapling, which I can actually add into our little pile here. A bunch of dirt. Thank you, Tate. And then Lily! Lily has some raw chicken! And some zombie jerky! Oh, and look at this! An artist conch! You know how much I love these appetites, Lily! Oh my goodness, thank you! I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to decorate with it, like, right now. Um, should I put it? I'm gonna put it on this side of the tree. Nice! All right, so unfortunately, we only have one fur sapling, which means we might at some point, and definitely not right now, maybe, possibly, because we're in the middle of Advent Treasure, but we might have to go on a big adventure in search of more fur saplings, because they're so beautiful. I mean, look, when you watch the fur leaves fall, they're actually tiny little spiky leaves. Look at how cool that is. I love it so much. So we definitely want more of these trees. I'm gonna go ahead and clear a spot over here carefully. Where did my, okay, there's my shovel. But I'm gonna clear a little spot right over here. And we're gonna see if we can just leave the little fir tree to grow. Uh, at some point I need to get more bone meal. So if it doesn't grow on its own, I'll go get some bone meal and we might have to start a little fir tree farm. Do you know what you call a fir tree farm? That's a Christmas tree farm, if you ask me. Oh my goodness, we might have to start a tiny little Christmas tree farm here for the sake of spreading the biodiversity of the amazing fur. I love it, you guys. Ah, but that is going to wait just a little bit while we go ahead and we finish working on our little foxes exhibit. Because once we finish that, then hopefully another one of these mysterious ice blocks will melt and we'll be able to go ahead and we will have even more wonderful adventures here in zoo crafting to work on. Plus, you know, now that we're starting to feel super inspired about like the theme and the different types of items we use to start really terraforming this land, Oh, and now it's snowing. That's so pretty. And making it our own, I think that's going to help us out a lot with being able just to dive in and continue expanding this area and adding in more animals so we can really start to learn more about the natural world and its wonders. All right, but now that that spiel is over, um, today we're going to finish up hopefully the snow bricks. Yeah, that won't take very long at all. Uh, going around the foxes exhibit. There we go. Let me just casually... Okay, little fox, I don't want you to escape right here. I know, little friend. There we go. Sounds like there's a spot where rain is trying to come down. Oh, it's probably like over there. Where it's too warm for the snow. Eh, we'll work with a meteorologist. I need to hire a meteor... Oh, right here! <laughs> 
All right, I might mark this. I'm gonna leave a little marker so that we can try to work with a meteorologist to stabilize the climate around here at some point, since we do now have access to one of my absolute favorite mods ever, which are actually the habitat. Let's see, let's see if I can find out what they're called again. Um, like if I put down, oh, 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 there we go. It's these, the biome wands. So the biome wands I love because you can actually change in a micro small area the biome and it's a lot easier than if we had some sort of fancy MC edit powers, for me at least. But uh, I definitely need to work with some meteorologists and some climate researchers and climate scientists before we could start unlocking these precious, precious things, I think. All right, but we'll leave that be. And then let's carry on with just working around. There we go and getting these snow bricks in place. Then we can work on the fencing and a little bit of the interior for the fox. I'm not exactly sure what kind of interior I wanna do for our little Arctic fox yet. I've gotta give that a bit of thought as well. All right, let's see. How do we wanna do this part, I wonder? Maybe the slopes right over here? One, whoops, two, three. Here, we'll do it like this. And then I think maybe right here will be another one of those spots where maybe I'll put like an ice pillar. Ooh, that would actually be a really nice way to decorate these spots. All right, where's my carpenter's hammer? There it is. But I might do like an ice pillar right over here. And can I jump on this? No. All right. But yeah, maybe we'll do like an ice pillar over on this side. And we'll maybe just top it off with a large block of ice or something. I'll have to see how much ice I have left over once we get going on the rest of this. There's that. And then two ice blocks here. So I just need to make like a couple more ice blocks. So I'm gonna need snow for that. And then maybe a couple more over here. No, I destroyed that fountain grass. Oh, I need to have a much more delicate touch with some of this. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna need a few more snow blocks so that we can make some more snow bricks. And then I would be content with having said, I did my due diligence. Where's my fox? Where's my fox? <laughs> All right, Tate. Lily? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was really worried about that for a second. All right, but I need to go back to my little stone mining spot. Hey, Catherine. Ha I managed to get past her without her throwing another stone or another snowball at me. If she threw stones at me, that would be very rude and I would have to reassess our friendship. Thank you very much. All right. Note to self, definitely need to get myself some torches. I kind of like how this is slowly but surely becoming one of my little like hidden spots for resources. If I was going to decorate this with something randomly, maybe I should fill it up with like old Christmas decorations. That would be so funny just to have a spot where it's like, oh, what's in there? It's just a ton of old Christmas decorations that Siri has. That would be hilarious because not every room and everything that we build. Oh, I brought a bunch of rubber wood to make a ton more carpenter stuff if we need it, by the way. But not every room and everything we build has to be like super serious or anything like that. Now, let's see, I could have sworn I could use flint to make, what? What on earth sort of use? Okay, come on flint, I could have sworn I could make you into some sort of torch. Seriously, flint's only good for arrows and a flint block to make more flint. Whoa, you can, look at how beautiful that is. Wait a second. You can smelt flint blocks into this beautiful blue block. Are you kidding? Really? Like that happens? I wanna try to get more flint. Like, hang on here. I know this is a bit of a pivot. Uh, but here, we just got four flint blocks. Oh, and two onyx shards. Okay, that's not a flint block. Gosh darn it. I wasn't going to get distracted by that. But now I'm a little curious. I kind of want to see, can we really do that? All right, my shovel's about to die. 
Okay, is that... Okay, I think we just got some onyx shards as well. That you can turn into onyx axes. <laughs> what? And an onyx shovel? I want to put it in the gem polisher, though, because then you can turn it into an onyx gem. And then you can make, like, a chain of necklace, which I just want to display the gemstones. Maybe I would make this into, like, just a random little room that has a few gemstones shining in it. I could do whatever I want. All right, let's see. But if we grab the flint, I'm going to shove that in our smelter now and just see what happens, because I'm kind of curious. All right, moving on. My goodness, it's a very snowy day. I can't wait to just really make this area shine even more so that it looks super beautiful. And we'll have it... Oh, yep, the villagers in Zomberry Village are screaming. Don't panic. It's just because they love our animals. All right. So we're going to gently shove this um, flint block in here with... Where's that rubber wood I was just hauling around? Some rubber wood. And meanwhile, we're going to come over here and work on making a ton of snow. There we go. And then I need to go ahead and work on making some stone bricks. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so nice with all the snow falling around us. You guys, I can't wait to be able to... Ah, yes. Hello, sunflower. <laughs> I can't wait to be able to start, like, filling this place up with music and filling it up with more people, Catherine. I know that you're kind of freezing out here in the snow. Oh, our fox got out again. Ah! Okay! Uh, mild panic! Mild panic! Alright, alright. Can I... Oh, thank goodness. Alright. In you go, friend. Did you get out from over here? I mean, look, you're gonna be really happy here, I promise. I know it seems a little abrupt, but this, this fox is supposed to be one of our animal ambassadors. Alright. Look at that! Jewels on the roadside! What? Does it... Oh, it's so shiny! I'm putting this at the top of my ice block pillar. I had no idea that this thing, like, Flint was actually useful for stuff like that. This is so cool. Oh, my word. All right. Here, let's cook the rest of these pork chops for the puppers, and we'll feed them in just a second. Um, and then while we're over here, I'm going to need a new shovel and, like, two shakes of Tate's tail. So let me grab a new iron shovel just to head that off. And then puppies, are you guys hungry? Yay, Lily! There you go. Aw, oh, Tate, you got so excited to see us with the food. You're so cute. All right. Snow bricks! There we go. So freaking happy about this. All right. Meanwhile, I think I'll put down some dirt and just kind of, like, even this out. There's also a ton of geishel greens right here. I haven't made a Geishel Green farm in forever. Do you guys remember how diligently I would take care of the terraces we used to have of, for our Geishel Green farm? I, I mean, building these things in survival takes a long time. And I wanted so badly for Sunflower to be able to have a mate and be able to have like lots of children, especially so we could fly. Being able to fly transformed our adventures forever. So I am forever grateful for Sunflower and Aster Seed. For having come and joined us all that time ago let's see maybe we'll do this and we'll figure out what to do with this corner later but the most important thing today is to just kind of finish out the basics of the fox's zone all right where's my so i am totally i got an idea do i have any glowstone hmm i need glowstone and i also need bone meal i think we're gonna ride sunflower over to grab some glowstone and bone meal wait yes glowstone and bone meal i thought i said glow bone and stone meal for a second <laughs> so i had to like hold up did i just say that right yes i did because i have an idea where are my carpenters there they are carpenters blocks what about this guys Boom, boom, and then we make it glow. Yes! That's what we're totally gonna do. I love it. A plus. All right, we gotta go get some glowstone. Lily, Tate, I'll be right back. I've gotta go like flying through the night in the ice and cold. Thank you very much, Sunflower. 
Alright, alright. Ah. Okay, we gotta watch out also that we don't end up hitting... Oh, jeez, this is disorienting. That we don't end up hitting a whole bunch of the... Um... My goodness, good girl, Sunflower. Alright, where on earth have I left? Oh, it's so noisy! Rain, why? Do I have any glowstone in here? No. None up there either. Mushrooms and plants. I was literally just here before we started today. Okay, I'm gonna have to go inside! All right, I'll be back. Oh, hey, Lola. Boy, that brings back adventures. All right, do I have any glowstone in here? I have cake. The answer is no. In here? I mean, I've got a lot of random things in here, including a bunch of mystery bugs and toucan eggs. I have some glowstone dust. There we go. We didn't have to go very far after all. Um, and I also have another iron shovel that's about to die. Look, and I have another piece of flint. Oh, I've never been so excited to see flint before. Oh my goodness. Here, we'll leave some of the gravel here. And my darling. Take that. All right, back out. We've got work to do today. I can't get too distracted. All right, come on, Sunflower. Thank goodness we're not too terribly far from home. And actually, see, that's what I mean about how I was so used, like, excited about when we got Sunflower. So we could go ahead and we could actually do some flying. Because it changes everything. All right. Jeez, now it's so quiet that we're back. Just the peaceful... There! Oh, that's so cool! The peaceful falling snow. Okay, that is really cool. I actually love that. It's It doesn't match 100%. However... I do like the the concept and then I wonder we could do a whole bunch of different types ooh ooh, 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 ooh. we could do a whole bunch of different types of setups for how we want the lantern to look too but there is kind of like a prototype of a lantern and now Lily Tate don't be alarmed let's come over and we actually need to start working with the ice, the ice pillars, and the glass bubbles so that we can go ahead and we can decorate the sides of... There we go. Let's move these out of the way just for now. So that we can properly decorate the sides. Lily, I'm going to leave your backpack here. Take your backpack here. I hope I don't forget it. <laughs> of the fencing. And I'm a little worried we might run out of ice, guys. Not going to lie. <laughs> I think we might run out of ice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so we've got beautiful, beautiful ice pieces here. And then we can decorate a few spots, just a few with the ice pillars. Whew, okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. If I have to collect a ton of ice in order to carry on with these builds, <laughs> that's gonna be so hard. Oh, and I'm so hungry. Okay, quick break for pancakes. All right, because I don't have it, like a really easy way to access a ton of ice. Um, so, hey Lily, don't 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 take my ice, please. Thank you, dear. So that would be really difficult, and we would actually have to come up with a way to get our hands on more ice <laughs> in order to carry on. And if that happens, it's going to create one of those like Siri uh, little little moments where we end up with a gigantic side quest and everyone's going to think it's just because I got distracted again but nope that's one of the beauty the beautiful things one of the fun things about actually maybe that means we should definitely build with more more bubble glass yes because I can make more glass so much easier oh that's so cute I really love the bubble glass more because you can tell it's there and if we had the painless glass like p-a-n-e painless not p-a-i-n painless i'm pretty sure that either of them would hurt if you like ran through them but if we had that then oh nice 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 there we go villagers are screaming in zombie village don't worry about it but if we had the painless glass then it looks like there's nothing there so this is actually really nice all right we'll do this in fact i could probably turn that one into a good bubble spot we'll save because this is kind of like the zookeeper side of things we'll save the ice pillars for over where the guests go <gasps> look at how quickly this is coming together and look at that okay i think i do like it all one big giant piece and we could put an ice pillar on the bottom and a couple ice bricks it doesn't match a hundred percent i'm gonna be honest 
but it has character. And it's something to do with our flint. And you know what? It kind of adds a lot of color for the sake of, um, for the sake of like Christmassy sort of feel. Because otherwise I could see this being with way too many muted colors. All right. Hello, little fox friend. Okay. We may not have as many ice pillars <laughs> as I was hoping. However, I might be able to re-chisel some of my ice. Let me check. Can I re-chisel? <gasps> I can! Okay, so as long as we have ice. Wait, those aren't ice pillars. Oh! Okay. All right, recipe for the ice pillars. I think any other ice becomes an ice pillar. Okay. So does that mean... I'm not going to actually do it. But does that mean if I had these chiseled ice pieces? Oh, okay. We're going to grab one more thing of pillars and cross our fingers that we're going to be able to balance this together correctly. And then bubble glass. Whoops. I did not mean to put bubble glass there. Okay. Grab that very quickly. And then, oh, I'm so excited, you guys actually finishing an exhibit not 100% because there's still places where people could you know fall to their death <laughs> that I need to work on tidying up um oh gosh I definitely need to turn those into the pillars don't I all right all right we got this we got this guys okay so a couple pillars this one yeah it's just gonna look better as a pillar too I know, hi little fox. I still don't have a name for you you yet, my friend. Hopefully I'll pick a name for you soon, but I've been so distracted just getting your area built. I haven't picked a name. All right, and let's do bubble, bubble, pillar, 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 pillar. And then I need, let's see, we'll do bricks here. And then we can do bub bricks here. And then maybe pillar at the very end. Up one more. And then pillar over here. And then bubble. Oh, that looks so good, you guys! We just need to work on the interior of the fox's area too. The spot where I need to replace it with dirt. Instead of the carpenter's fencing and then i think we would have completed our second build for advent treasure and we could see what the next one is yay all right let's see there we go one more section of ice pillars that should be plenty and then we'll go inside with all of this dirt and replace that and otherwise the fox already has a den and already kind of had like a pre-built area that we didn't have to add too much to. We'll spruce it up in the future, but we do have a lot of advent treasures to work through. All right. I actually have enough ice pillars. I think I'll replace this with an ice. Whoops. Hello, little one. Don't mind me. Oops. That is not going to help. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Okay. Note to self. If I put actual ice down and then break it it makes a little a little thing by the way all of our peafowl are in the river we will have to work on that later i noticed that they seem to be fine i will replace them later all right so now that that is done uh let's see we'll do that one there and then i just need to replace a couple of these spots with dirt the fox should be fine there and then, na na, na na. Yay! All right. Oh, and then while we're over here with Chick Pickety, I'm going to go ahead and replace. Almost there. Put normal dirt down here for just a second. Grab this grass block. And boom! Grass block right there. And I actually brought some really lovely plants. It turns out I had some of the delphinium, so we can put it inside of the fox exhibit right there, too. Yay! You guys! This is so cool! Like, literally, because we're working with a bunch of ice. But there we go! So, our little fox exhibit is now done. We'll have to see if this ice melts next time, or if it's going to be one of the other ones. And we have a little enclosure for our fox friend! Huzzah! 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 Literally years since we have finished any kind of exhibit, so this is very exciting.
<laughs> it's not perfect, but it's a great start. And we are starting to build a fantastic theme, other than the fact, you know, my fir tree still hasn't grown. And I forgot the bone meal again! Oh my goodness. But thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our little advent treasures. We will definitely be working quite a bit on sprucing up some of the details of the various areas after we go ahead and see what other advent treasures we have waiting for us. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing as I slide over ice. And most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Whoop, there we go. Bye-bye.